Welcome back, WordPress developers. In today's video, we are diving into the recent changes in advanced custom fields, version 6.2.5. These changes come with important security updates and we will guide you on what to do if you encounter notices or warnings related to the ACF shortcode and other functions. First thing first, let's get an overview of what changed in ACF 6.2.5. This update addresses a crucial security fix, particularly impacting the ACF shortcode, the field and the, the subfield. It is essential to understand these changes to ensure your WordPress projects remain secure. Starting from this version, the ACF shortcode output will be escaped by the WordPress HTML escaping function WP underscore KSES. This will remove potential unsafe HTML like scripts and iframes. In addition to security enhancements, ACF 6.2.5 prepares for upcoming changes in the output of the ACF, the field and the subfield functions. As you start working with the ACF 6.2.5, you might encounter notices about modifications. Not all of them are breaking changes, though ACF logs detected modifications and shows notices in the WordPress admin. This logging mechanism is designed to help you identify instances where potentially unsafe HTML is being altered during output. Now let's explore how this logging system operates. When ACF detects a modification, it logs data about the affected function call. This log is stored as an option in the WP options table. Entries in this log trigger notices in the WordPress admin visible to the users with editor role and by editor role and higher by default. Admin users can dismiss the notice after making necessary fixes, ensuring a streamlined process for addressing and verifying changes. If needed, the log can be entirely disabled using the ACF slash admin slash prevent escaped HTML notice filter. To help you pinpoint where the modification occurs, ACF introduces two powerful actions, remove unsafe HTML and will remove unsafe HTML. These actions provide useful parameters like function, selector, field and post ID. You can leverage this for debugging. Even use tools like debug print backtrace or xdebugs xdebug break. Now let's talk about a conditional disabling. ACF provides filters like shortcode allow unsafe HTML the field allow unsafe HTML. You can use this to selectively disable automatic escaping for specific field types, pages or field names. If you are confident in current security practices, you can opt in yearly to the new behavior using the filter. Escape HTML opt-in. This allows you to strip and save HTML immediately and receive notifications in the WordPress admin. Before we wrap up, a quick reminder, upgrade to ACF 6.2.5 immediately for enhanced security. If you are not using the ACF shortcode, consider disabling it. That's it for today, a guide on navigating the changes in ACF 6.2.5. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more WordPress development tips. Happy coding and see you in the next video.